Hey, good morning everyone, TrackMan44 here. Today we're going to make a simple squared off radius or angled radius fitting for a small capacity a, a gas furnace to tie into an existing trunk line. That plenum is going to be 13 and 3 quarter inches total height and it's going to have a 7 inch takeoff coming off of it because we're going into a duct that's only 7 inches in height and is going to enter the side of that duct. It's a very low basement. So the total height is going to be 13 and 3 quarter inches with 7 inches down to go into the side of the existing trunk. The width is going to be 18 and 3 quarters front to back and then from left to right on the front of the furnace is going to be only 16 inch. So what you have to do is you have to remember exactly what you have to add to your dimensions to lay it out. So we're going to first off we're going to lay out one inch down here for our double hem head, our double hem. So we got one inch off of that one inch mark. We're going to mark 13 and three quarters up here. Then we're going to add one quarter inch to that 13 and three quarter for the quarter inch bend to go into the lock farmer. Then what we'll do is we'll come down here and we'll lay out our 16 inch width down here for the base of the uh, of the duct. We're going to add a quarter of an inch to it for the inside throat. That was after we put a quarter inch on the outside. I forgot to point that out. We measured in the width, the 16 inches off of that quarter inch mark outside. But now we've got the base of it lined out. We've got the height of it lined out. So now we just have to measure down from the top the seven inches and a quarter. A quarter inch for the, uh, for the 90 degree, then seven inches down to go into the side to provide the takeoff to go into the existing seven inch ductwork. Then add another quarter inch for the quarter inch bend up for the lock farmer for the other portion of the inside inside wrapper. That gives us our basic squared fitting. So then what we'll do is we'll pick a point up here off of the base, probably about eight or nine, maybe ten inches in, to put us a mark, and we'll measure back from the tip of the piece of duct a comfortable dimension, which is going to be roughly around 13 inches, and make a mark. Then we'll tie that 10 inch dimension to the 13 inch. That's going to give our angle for that somewhat of a squared off radius for that airflow to go right into the side of that trunk line. That having been said, let's go ahead and take a look and see what that's going to look like. Just a quick rehashing, here's your 16 inch. We've got a double hem down here, quarter inch all the way around for the outside wrapper, quarter inch inside for the inside wrapper. We've got our seven inch for the uh, takeoff going into the side of the plenum. So now all we have to do is cross break this, fold it up, and we'll be ready to go. If it weren't for the flange that's already folded on this, you'd use a cheat bender and fold these. So it, they kind of become uh, a little bit conflicted, no matter which one you do first. So that already uh, having been bent, we'll just fold these by hand. And true the angles up with a nice crisp block. Okay, we're ready to fabricate the heel wrapper and the toe wrapper. To get the length of your wrapper, measure all the way from your bend up to where your corner is. That's 9 inch plus 1 for the flange. Measure back from here, 12 and 7 eighths, 8 and a half. If I remember right, that width was 18 and 3 quarters plus 2, so that would be by 20 and 3 quarters. 
so we can double check that. 7 eighths plus 4 eighths is 11 eighths, so that's 3 eighths left over. Add 1, 12, 22, and 9 is 31. So 31 and 3 eighths by the width, 20 and 3 quarter. Inside here, we're going to have 6 and 3 quarter plus 1 down here. This should be a 4 inch throat. I'd like to make a standard 4 inch throat if at all, if at all possible. So that's 6 and 5 is 11 and 3 quarter. So 11 and 3 quarter by 20 and 3 quarter. That's going to be the dimension of the cut size for the, the toe wrapper in here and the heel wrapper out there. This piece of scrap here is going to be just about perfect for that right there. I needed uh, 11 and 3 quarter inches in width and this all fall is 1 16th shallow so we can fudge that 16th of an inch. Doesn't really matter when I go through the lock farmer you got a little bit of leeway just a little bit. So we'll go ahead and lay out 20 and 3 quarter in length and double check this end to end for 11 and 3 quarter. Measure up seven and three quarter inches and put the mark on the one inch line right here. Double check, make sure there's four left over, and there is. That one inch line is for the lock farmer. Ready for the lock farmer. Half inch double hem, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. This will be a 90 degree bend out, and this will be for the S or drive, more than likely the S. Okay, the outside wrapper is going to be 31 and 3 eighths in length and 20 and 3 quarters in width. So we're just going to go right here 20 and 3 quarters in. 31 and 3 eighths in length. Double check the length by laying out where the folds are going to be. So that's going to be 10 inch. Then we're going to have 8 and 1 half inch. We're going to have 12 and 7 eighths. And that should come up on your mark up there. And it does. Connect the dots on your notches. Mark your Pittsburgh lines. Half inch double hem. And your S. It's just a personal preference, but I like to put a cross break before I run it through the lock farmer. First, our half inch double hem flange. Backwards 90 or the outside 90. I tell you guys all the time, you know, it de the job site de determines whether or not you assemble the duct or the plenum adaption in the shop or in the field. This particular one here, I'm totally unlimited as to um, movement restriction on site. So I'm going to assemble this here because I can just slide it right in, put it in place, screw it down, and that portion of it is done. 
So you always have to keep that in mind when you're measuring a job. And there we have another very simple fitting. I just got to double check the measures, make sure it's okay. Got to bend the uh, drive tabs on and we'll be done. I had to finish this up, we'll do it by hand. Okay guys, so there you have it. It's ready for the job site and installation. This is Trackman44. I'm out of here guys.